journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I'm getting a great deal of static. I don't know if it's coming through or not, but this is the chart that was in the newsletter. We talked about it all last week. Uh, if you haven't looked at this chart, go to the newsletter and study it because uh, this shows the perfect harmony in gold. It's been going on ever since gold started trading back with the Egyptians or Sumerians, whenever it was. But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's really quite spectacular. Whether this big ABCD means anything or not, I don't know. But, you know, it started $30 in the favor. So we'll keep that in mind. Let's go for just a second here. And we'll just humor me a little bit because I really think there, this is where the real, uh, let's just get this up here. Hold on one second. Um, bar, bear with me here, boys and girls. I've got to uh, do something here to get this treasury bond up and I can't get it. So hold on just one second. And uh, we'll get up here to take a look at By the way, I'm going to be doing a one-day live trading session in London, England on the 24th of um, October. My guest that day will be none other than our good friend um, John Jameson, who might talk to us about. Uh, he's going to be attending. Whether I can get him to talk about anything or not, I don't know. Here's where we are with the December Treasury bonds. We've been following this real closely. Remember, on the weekly... Uh, this is the December contract. Sorry, boys and girls. i got to move this around a bit. Just go to this. There's the one I want to see. That's the. This was the pattern that we were waiting for it to get to at this 2800 level, but it didn't quite get there. We'll just draw this in to show it to you because this is a valid butterfly pattern. And as you can see now, we have taken out this high substantially by by quite a bit, by 127.22. And if you remember... We were following the Treasury notes, which is the larger of the contracts. And I want to get that up here. It's just a little bit higher right there. And then we're going to put that up. And we're going to see what up. Oh, unbelievable, folks. <laughs> get ready to sell these puppies. This is a major divergence, folks. You see the Treasury notes? They didn't take out the highs of last week. That's a bad sign. Let's look at this on a shorter term time frame here. Okay, you see this? The Treasury notes... Okay, the Treasury bonds went all the way up here. The Treasury notes did not. This tells us that this long-term weekly that we're looking at right here, this puppy's in play. So I don't know, just A, B, C, D is all it means. But, you know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. The reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is because I got two emails from people, uh, people that subscribe to the service. I don't know them personally, but they explained to me that this could not possibly work. Because the head income trader for BlackRock, which has $27 trillion in funds of all different varieties, has come out with his most uh, bullish sign for short-term rates. They're going higher or lower. Uh, big breakout in Treasury notes and Treasury bonds to the upside. He said it's as good as anything he's ever seen. And uh, I, uh, I said, well, he, he's probably right. But right now, I'd be real careful. Uh, that's all I can tell you. I, I've been through these things before, folks. People have told me, you know, many things about ABCDs and why they work and why they don't. And I don't understand, you know, why they work sometimes and why they don't other times. All I know is they work some of the time. And some of the time is around 55 to 60 percent. And But when they do work, sometimes they work pretty good. This is a big deal, folks. What we've just seen here, I don't care what the Fed's going to do tomorrow. It don't make any difference to me because the market's already telling me. Let's get the hourly up so we can see it. The market's already telling me there's trouble in River City here. This should have been, with the notes, with the Treasury bonds way up here, these things should have been at least uh, 115.30 to 116, and they couldn't even take out the highs of the, of, of the 11th. This is not a good sign, boys and girls. So that's what we're watching i don't know if it means very much or not you can see how much the, the treasury bonds have already reversed here uh did they reverse yesterday's low yet uh no there's yesterday's low 
is uh, right here. That's at 126.13. If they start getting below this level here at 126.13, that's going to be an outside day to the downside. And coming for a level like this where you had the ABCD, let's just see how accurate that ABCD. No, it didn't go. Oh, oh you know what? I, oh, if this is the case, I'm going to shoot myself in the foot. And I don't even have any bullets. Hold on. There's our ABCD leg right here. No, see, this is 126.19. Uh, oh, this is the one I'm looking at right here. This is the one that I was watching, folks, was this pattern. Let me get rid of this. I thought we had a chance to make this one more time. There's an ABCD leg. And that was at 127.30. We got to 127.23, uh, 22. Missed it by a little bit. Now we're a full point under it, which tells us this is probably it. So that's what we're paying attention to. But the Fed will be in tomorrow, and they'll be telling us what they're going to be doing. And uh, that's pretty much it. My uh, son-in-law was in um, Silicon Valley for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, doing some work with uh, the uh, folks with uh, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. And the thing that he remembered most about his trip was he was in downtown Mountain View, which is in the middle of the city of right across the street is Apple. Yahoo, not yeah, Yahoo, Apple, um, what's the one, Meta, Meta, uh, whatever it's called, uh, Facebook, okay, and uh, and Google, those three companies, they, they control the whole area there, and he said all of the buildings, uh, commercial buildings are empty, he said it, it, he said he just couldn't believe how empty the whole area was, I mean, just desolate. But he had a wonderful trip, and it was very he was very happy, so that's good. Anyway, that's the Treasury bonds. Now, let's get back to where the real money's been playing. We talked about this in the video that I sent earlier this morning, and that was about the death of the U.S. dollar. They were talking about that on Bloomberg and everything else today, so we're going to get it up here and take a look at it. There's where we were this morning. You can see I, when I sent this out this morning, I said, folks, I said, this has just made new lows from way back here. But if you look at it really close and you believe in you know what, raise that little placard out there, Johnny. Give it a little OABCD action, okay? There's A, B, C, D right here. I had one detractor send me a uh, little uh, message today by email saying, he said, you know, he said, the stuff you do is so rudimentary that why does anybody even listen to it? And I and I said back to him, I said, well, not many people really do, so it's not really a problem. I said, you know, this is all I know. I said, I don't know him much more than that. And so I never heard back from him. So that's okay. Anyway, this is what we were watching right here. So all I'm going to do now is we're going to go to the four hour and look at it really close because you can see here, all we were doing here was making a new low. Okay, now this doesn't mean much unless you're in the euro or the bonds or stuff like that, but... There's where it is right there. You can see there's your A, B, C, D pattern right here. And if you were to draw it in, you would see that you were looking at it. Just a really nice butterfly pattern right here. Okay, right at the, you can almost see it's exact, one, almost exact, well, not quite. Well, yeah, there is one, exactly 127. And uh, wouldn't have to risk very much, but the euros had a, had a big move uh, off of that. And so is the pound. So these are the kinds of things that we're trying to look at when we're, when we're following some of these. Let's take a quick look at the pound here. Oh, my goodness, we got a break coming up already. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento. I don't know if it's coming through or not. All I hear is static on the line, so I hope it's working. This is the euro, just showing you the 382, the ABCD down at the 50%, and now we've had this really good rally. But the main thing that I'd like to share with you on this chart is something incredibly important, and that is what's happened right here. If I take this away and we try to analyze what the market's really doing, you can see here that we have a nice little 61% pullback. The market goes up and then comes down one more time. This is a two-day correction between the 14th and 15th of August, okay? Remember what we talk about. Put the placard up, Billy, or uh, Johnny, and there's your perfect 382 right there. To almost, well, it probably is. I Well, it is exact. There it is right there. And when you do that, that tells you that your A... B, C, D leg is going to be right up here at 122 or 121 and change. And that's exactly what it did. I mean, it's, this, is not, this is not rocket science. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But there it is. That's what we just did in the Dow Jones. I mean, we're doing the same thing in all of these markets. I don't do anything, anything new in any of these things at all. So we'll get rid of the, this. And now what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the British pound. Get this up here. These bonds are in big trouble. Okay, here is the British pound. You notice we had this monster ABCD up here in the daily. And what we're going to do now is we're going to come in and we're going to look at this because what we were watching last night was a market making three lower highs in here. If we looked at it on the four-hour chart, okay, now the gentleman asked me, well, I, I need to be hedged in the British pound. I said, well, if you're going to do that, you got to do it up in here. And if it gets above 133, you're going to be wrong. And he said, well, that's a lot of money. I said, well, it's not a lot of money if you put a stop in. So you see, you do have these, you do have lower tops. They're very small, but stop and think, folks. This was over a three-week period, so it's doing something right, if nothing else. There's your low right here. Remember this? We talked about just the other day where you had a perfect, you know, little ABCD pattern right in here. Now, almost exactly at 382. The 382 was just a tiny bit uh, higher than that. I mean, I mean you're talking about... Uh, Oh my goodness! Well, you're talking about 40 pips in the pound, which isn't, which isn't very much. Anyway, that's what these things are about. They're trying to tell you where you're looking at some of these things, and that's that's basically what we're what we're looking at here. Okay, so I hope that helps you as far as what you're looking at here today. And let's move on here for a little bit here. And 
this. Oh, we got something here. It's interesting here. Just, just, just for kicks and giggles, have a little fun. Let's just go down to a small chart here. And uh, there's our 382 here in the old uh, Dow Jones, if we get there, folks, at uh, 42038. You might want to might want to take a little look. Just don't don't trade it. No, 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 don't trade it. Just see if it works this time. Because sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, and that's the that's the key. You gotta find out. Only only take the winning trades, folks. Don't take the losing trades. That's not a good thing to do. So we're gonna pay attention to that as it uh, comes due here. Okay, now I've had a question about wheat. We need to do analysis of wheat for our good friend Mr. Byron Tucker who's listening up there on the shores of the up there in the river in Maine, wherever it is, that uh, cabin that his wife, his family has owned for 150 years. Hold on here. Let's Wheat starts with a W, doesn't it? Yep, there it is, and there's the W. And we're going to come down here. We're going to start out with a 30-minute chart to see where we are. Ah, uh, we're coming down nicely. Okay, and we'll bring this up here. There's where we are. All right, we're going to bring it up. Now, we're going to see a lot here because... Uh-oh, boy, we got a big one here, folks. we got to look at this real closely here because we are very close to what I think. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, boy, that's a three. Uh, watch, watch this 382 right here, folks. At, uh, that's only a, 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 a nine cents away. So pay attention to that. That could be really interesting. We look at this a little bit differently. You'll see that the uh, that'll come in almost exactly at the old 786. So there's the place you'd like to be looking at it. Last night, we had a beautiful 382 pattern right here, just as sweet as could be. And uh, there it went exactly. There is your high within a quarter cent. And now we're coming down. But watch this, because this is really big, because you got another, ooh, wow, this is a really good one. AB equals CD coming in right there. So, boy, ooh. I wouldn't be worrying about this last few cents here. Boy, it might even have missed it. How close did we get? 71 and a half. Boy, that's that's really close. Might be an interesting one to uh, to pay uh, close attention to it. We just made almost making the old 382 here now in the old uh, Dow Jones, folks. So let's see if it works today. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But it's at 420.38. I got the old beeper in to see if we get there. And then we're going to find out what's the case. Now, I've been asked to look at Apple. Uh, yeah, for the one millionth time, and we'll <clears throat> get it up here. And uh, Apple, ooh, wow, Apple's down today. Are you kidding me? No, 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 that's yesterday's action. Uh, I think I'm missing some data here, folks, just a second. No, Apple, Apple gapped down uh, yesterday. I didn't realize that. Well, I don't, there, no, it didn't gap down. Just took data a little while to do it. It's down today, however. Um, it had a higher opening yesterday and then dropped off, and now it's, uh, it started to move a little bit lower, but uh, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. So we'll pay closer. There we go. There we just hit the old 382 in the old stop and pee, and we're going to see if it's got any legs at all. In fact, it's it's got more legs than you want because it's already above that number. Now, when you do that, your stop has got to be above here, up above this uh, 42170. So you got to be risk about a hundred about 100 points. So you got to put your stop at four. 2138. Let me write that in here. 42138. Let's put that in there. 42138 is where you put your buy stop if this fails. And believe me, sometimes they fail and sometimes they work. That's it. You don't know which ones work. Now, this is an eight minute chart. If we went down to a micro chart, just for kicks and giggles, we'll don't go down to a three minute to see if there's a nice little ABCD uh, popping up here. And sure enough, there's an ABCD coming in. It's just a little bit higher than where we are right now, but we'll watch it. There's your AB leg. It comes down to there. Uh, yeah, we, we could get a little bit higher up. Well, this is if you're if you're short here uh, at 38 and uh, uh, excuse me at 34. Well, it's basically even now. Anyway, th your stop is here. That's it. I was hoping there'd be a really easy ABCD there, but not so much. Okay, let's move on here, and I have another question here on the old uh, thing here about the um, Boeing Airlines. I don't uh, I got a lot of stock people in here. Here's Boeing, boy. I don't know about this stock because it doesn't look like anybody likes it. And you can see here, we've been going down for a long time. I, oh, wow. I don't wonder why anybody flies that airline. Anyway, you can see here, we've made a 78% retracement yesterday right on the money and it's holding so far. So that's the last line of support in here. And this is not a head and shoulders because this shoulder here 
is higher than that shoulder here. For it to be a bullish one, this shoulder has to be higher than that one. That mathematical formula is in Andrew Lowe's book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. So you want to do that. You want to follow it, you know, very, very closely, okay? So that's what we're paying close attention to uh, here today. And I think we're going to have Jeff Huge on here in just a tiny bit. And uh, we'll see what has uh, going on. So we got a little trade on for you. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. But there's always one coming by the old uh, corral the next day, folks. So let's stay tuned for Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keck Stack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we're having a little bit of technical difficulty with Jeff so far from uh, – uh, Skype uh, not working, but we'll get it fixed if we can. Uh, getting back to this wheat, uh, folks, uh, 
I believe we were looking at that on a 30-minute chart. Let me double check. Yeah, there's where we were. Remember, we were watching this from a long-term perspective, that this is a very, very important number down here coming off of that big low way back here. That's the one, if it gets there, that would really be 470, excuse me, 570. Would, it's six cents away from that, but it's got a pretty good chance of doing it. And that's also exactly 786 off of this one uh, right here, okay? Now, let's play the devil's advocate here and say, okay, does this stuff really work? Well, let's go back and see what happened the last time this happened because this is the kind of trades that you want to start looking for. We had the low right back here on, July, on August 27th, okay? Look where your 382 came in, folks. Where is it? Right here. Came within one cent of the exact low right here. And then, of course, it had a, a really nice move uh, here, once you see this, you, you go to a smaller time frame because you miss it by a heartbeat. That's sad. But that's the first time. But look, on when, it, when this thing first started to move, and we followed this all the way up. There's your low. There's your first 382 right there. Okay, now let's just continue the process. There's your next low right here. Remember when the market, the only times 382 is really working, folks, is when you, here it goes quite a bit below it but stops. There's your stop always below the 618. And then you have this other one that comes in right here that we just said it missed it by a heartbeat. But this is this is a big one because, look, this is coming down for five days. The last time we had a major correction in wheat, and this is what you want to start looking with time, from your high to your low, you'll see that's how long it came down. Now, if this is case, we should repeat over and over again. So we're going to come over and bring it in right there, and that means it's going to come in here on uh, tomorrow. So watch wheat tomorrow. That's going to be uh, one more little lower low down here at uh, 68. Oh, that would be um, that would be really nice. Uh, well, risk control wise, it would be really nice. It might not work, but that's what we're that's what we're paying attention to. As you can see, this right here, there's that number right there, just right at 570. The low today was 571. Ooh, boy, this might have shortened up a bit, but we have to wait and see if that's going to happen okay now folks if you did the, the uh, if you did the Dow Jones trade you've made a uh, hundred dollars so you've made enough to take your lovely bride or husband out to dinner so book that hundred bucks and take the pressure off the old cowboy because I can't stand the pressure anymore folks it's getting too much for me I don't understand which ABCDs works and which ones don't work remember in the newsletter and also in the video that I sent out earlier on Sunday that the main thing that we were watching in the currency in the metals markets was the 135 pattern and we had one let's get the daily up here so we can see it uh, which was the the uh, the most bearish of all as you can see there's where we were and you can see we've dropped uh, about uh, 20 some dollars uh, an ounce here a little more than that 20 some dollars an ounce on that there was a perfect 135 pattern we had the same thing in silver and then we had the three drive to a top pattern in the gold with all that symmetry that was there all related to that. Folks, uh, one of the questions that someone asked me uh, late last night by email was, do I look at the commitment of traders? No, I do not. I don't look. I, I watch volume and open interest, especially when markets are making new highs and uh, or lows, because I want to see if there's open interest things that tells me that the shorts are getting scared or something like that. But that's really what uh, that's really what I'm trying to do is just get my uh, this is all I really need to do, folks, is just watch ABCDs, because that that's what I've been doing for a long time. I know it's boring, but it's profitable if you learn to do it the right way. And learning doing it the right way is the problem is you start doing it it doesn't work a few times and you throw it out you throw it out the window and that's not that's not much fun okay so I, I think that's uh, you know and when you know when I've been making predictions in these markets for many many years I you know some when I make a really big one I, I, I don't miss them very often but I do but uh, some of the big ones that in 2011 with the Hong Kong thing, I mean, gold dropped uh, 50 percent. It dropped from 1900 to 1000. Nobody ever said anything like, gee, that was a good job. It didn't make any difference because I was short, you know, so I don't really care whether people believe in it or not. It doesn't make any difference to me because I can't I can't force somebody to do something that uh, 
you know, that it's against their will. And this, how, how can you say that when you look at this, you're looking at the sum total of all the buyers and sellers? Well, if you read Andrew Lowe's book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, he basically sell, tells you that that chart is a sum total of all the buyers and sellers together. Just like this guy at BlackRock. He's got, he's got his opinion on interest rates, and he thinks interest rates are going to drop substantially, and notes and bonds are going to go very up. I don't believe that's going to be the case. Now, that's my little opinion from a little old, uh, you know, a dirt farmer there out of Terre Haute, Indiana. I've never been a cowboy. I love being a cowboy. I'm in cowboy country now, but I don't even like, oh, I like horses, but not to, not to, not to ride. <laughs> and, uh and lately, I haven't been doing very well. I've been on a streak here, folks. I've had 10 losing races in a row. I haven't had 10 losing races in a row. Oh, man, in a long time. It's only a few hundred dollars. But, boy, I tell you, I can't. And I bet win, place, and show. So I always keep going, though, because I know there's one right around the corner uh, to do it. So, anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here with some of this stuff here that we're watching here this morning. Okay, let's move on here. We had a question here about corn. Let's get corn up because corn should have had some resistance up there. Uh, that's bean oil. Here's corn is right here. Uh, we act, oh, well, it's still doing pretty good. Let's move it. Here's where we are. Yeah, we're up here against this 78% retracement right here. Now, we should be looking for a top in corn somewhere here around tomorrow because from high to high, you can see we pulled back. There was a beautiful pullback here just a few days ago. If you look, there's your ABCD. And it, that fact, because this low came in and then the high, well, you can see that with the four hour chart. You'll be able to see it. See, there's your low, there's your, there's your low right here. And then boom, there, there was your high first, then the low came in. That means that when we were drawing this in, you have to draw it the way it should be. There's your high. There it is right there, and uh, because it only takes one or two bars to get to it, but that's pretty much it. So we're coming into some pretty strong resistance coming in here on corn here, up about another 10, 15 cents, and it's got a really good chance to get through it, folks. Now, this is a four-hour chart, and I don't do corn too often, but there's where we are. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the hourly and use some of the tools that we decide with which direction we want to go. This is, look at this, there's that ABCD pattern right there. Now what we have to do is to see if this move right here was, guess what? And if it was, and if it was, don't be short. Oh, we didn't quite get there, but watch that for tomorrow here. Oh, that's very close. So 407, it's 411 right now. So that's what we're, uh, that's what we're paying attention to, okay? So let's take a break here. And I've got a couple things about currencies that I want to talk to you about, especially the Japanese yen. And we'll move on to the uh, next one uh, up in here. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. 
Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, this is the Japanese yen, very heavily traded, uh, much more than the British pound, not as much as the euro. Euro number one, Japanese yen two, British pound three. But uh, this is really important because remember the chart we showed on the dollar index looks like it was going to go down forever. We saw the ABCD pattern. Now, if you take the number two group out of this, this is the Japanese yen. You can see that we had an ABCD pa pattern. Try putting words in your mouth, Larry, at 140 and change. The low was 139.70. Okay, there was your low right here. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you this level right here. We're going to blow this up a little bit because that's what you're doing when you're when you're trying to select a place to get in, whether it doesn't make any difference, you know, hogs, cattle, doesn't make any difference. Anyway, you can see the ABCD move that came down. Then it rallied up to almost exactly the 61. You can see it's not drawn correctly because it hits the exact 61% retracement exactly right there. Okay, there's your 1.618, okay? You see how that lines up just absolutely perfectly? So if that's the case, now we're in the midst of a pretty good rally, aren't we? So this rally, the last rally, this was a big rally, right? Right up to the 382. And then we came down, hit the ABCD right on the money. But look at this. As you're looking at this right now, in the, yesterday, and that this is important because if we look at this, we're going to go down to the hourly chart to see it real closely because then you're going to be able to see, and there's the pattern that we've been watching right there. You can see here we had a potential here for uh, we were looking at 139 and change, and I believe that was the uh, exact low was 139. Hold it, where is it? Act. Uh, why is that different? That's not right. That says 139, folks. I got a problem here because this is a 60 minute. Oh, let me refresh. That's the problem. Hold on. Nope. But look at the date. Yeah, there it is. Ah, come on. I know you boys aren't trying to lie to me. Anyway, there it is right there. It didn't didn't update. Now we had an ABCD coming in right now, as you can see. Okay, now there was a number here. That was yesterday. Here's today. You made a higher, higher bottom right in here. And now you've completed this small ABCD pattern right in here. Now we're still in a downtrend, but this this is scary here. This is starting to move up, and we think we're going to get a rally that'll last anywhere from three to five days. That's what we're that's what we're really paying, uh, you know, close attention to if we possibly can. I also posted this here on the uh, treasure um, the December soybean oil from when we were on just the other day. I said, watch this level here. It was last support 38.66, and the low was 38.64. Not bad for a lucky guess, huh? Anyway, we had a nice rally here. It's made well over $600. So you become a farmer, and you don't have to put up any money. And that's the ideal situation of uh, what you're watching here as you're looking at uh, some of these things here today. Now, I have two requests here for stocks. Hold on. I want to bring up uh, Google. And uh, hold on one second here. See, Google is – oh, that's just still under G, isn't it? I don't, I don't remember. They didn't change the symbol from alphabet. 
okay, oh, we've had a little bounce. That's probably because when Kelvin was there, they decided to see what he had to give. Anyway, this is, uh, we're having, this has been down quite a bit, folks. We didn't make the 382 on this move here. We missed it by about a dollar. Now we've come down. We've had a good rally back today, uh, which is a good sign. But we also remember, let's just get rid of this, because remember, when you make a new low, you must recalculate the next 382 to determine if that trend is still a valid. So what we're going to do is delete that and come up here and start from scratch. And this is the one you want to watch from this high down to this low. The 382 is going to come in here at 165. So we need to be watching that one. That would be the one that would be uh, really interesting to pay uh, really close attention to. Okay, so that's that one. All right, now the next one that we had a question on was none other than Tesla. And I see that Mr. Uh, Musk is involved heavily with uh, politics. Okay, here it is right here. And so far it was higher today. Let's see, it hasn't really done much. Let's just clean this out here. Yeah, see it's just, it went up and tried to match the high here on September 3rd, it missed it, and right now it's basically still up on the day, but it's given up, you know, quite a bit of its uh, its rally potential. Should be some pretty strong resistance up in there, I would think. But looking at this as a possibility, you could also see that we could get up to this level uh, right up in here at uh, 244. It's up another 15 or 16 dollars, which is 8 uh, percent, which is a pretty big move uh, in something like that. So we got both of those done. And now we want to look at one other one here in the old currency, and that is the Canadian dollar because it has been running pretty heavily. I understand. Hold on. Oh, just get up. Just, come on. Don't do that to me. Yeah, here's where we are. Yeah, we're having a pretty good run today. We're almost at the 382. Here's where we are. Let me update this. Refresh today. Last week. Okay. All right. Now let's see if we get to that old 382. Now, there's the high that we had right back here. Very strong trend down. No 382s here anywhere, folks. We go from 139.5 to 134 with nothing. And then we have an ABCD right here. That's a beautiful ABCD. That came in uh, a couple days ago. We're still in that same zone. We'll just, just draw that in so you can see it without too much trouble. There's your uh, AB leg right here. There's your CD leg measures right in here. Let's see how close it comes to the old 382 and it is a oh it's a miss by about uh <laughs> about seven or eight pips folks that's not much but uh did miss it so that's what we're paying attention to here with this one okay let's get rid of this canadian dollar out of here and someone asked me about oh my goodness i haven't seen anything about this the tbt i haven't looked at the chart on tbt since geraldo herrero was uh in the business and you can see here this is the uh, the uh, ETF for the reverse ETF for Treasury bonds. So this means when you want to short Treasury bonds, you do the TBT and you're down in here. So okay, that's when you want to be short the bonds. Okay, now if you want to go long the bonds, you have to use TLT. Uh, these are the ETFs. I don't don't never traded them, have no interest. But there it is right now. Disregard those secret uh, lines that are on there, folks. That is the volatility stop. Entry makes it. It's an eight point. Uh, it's eight eight periods volatility stop, and it looks like it's gee. Every time you'd have done this, you'd have made an absolute fortune. Yeah, well, try doing it, and then you'll see what happens. All right, here's here's where we are right now on the daily. Let's just get rid of anything else that we've got here, so that we can look at it clearly and hit delete. And the reason why you have all these gaps, folks, is because it's not open 24 hours a day. So that's where you run into this stuff. So all we're having right now with this TPT is a little rally right here. And that's nothing more than a little 3A2 rally. Okay. And so that tells me these bonds are getting ready. Notes and bonds are getting ready to go lower based on this ETF. But again, that's just a small, my goodness, it's 50 minutes to the hour already. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We got 41 seconds, enough time to cover soybeans. And hopefully I'll be able to find it without much trouble. There it is right now. Still should be having a little rally zone. Not yet. We're still coming down here in the beans. I think we're coming down here, folks. So get ready in the soybeans. We'll cover that when we get back. Okay, stay with us. 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is the Dow E-mini, the three-minute thing we did here. You see it had a pretty, we, we covered it here, so you get that $100 to take your significant other to dinner and then it comes all the way down and now we've got a legitimate ABCD measuring here at the 50% level at 420.76 so keep an eye on that one okay and uh, we'll have Jeff on next week folks so because he's unless he can get this thing fixed uh, maybe uh, for um, is this Wednesday or th this is just Tuesday isn't it shut the front door and raise maybe he'll get it fixed for Wednesday oh then he's traveling so uh, not a problem and that's neither here nor there, so we'll not worry about it. Anyway, keep an eye on this number here, 42076, and maybe it goes up and makes a new high, and it's going to go up forever, which is certainly a possibility, uh, and that happens a lot in these markets, and that's only part of, you got to remember, it's not how much money you make, folks, it's how much money you don't lose. So keep your, keep your uh, you know, look at these things, moves 100, look at this, I mean, it drops 300 points, up 150, down 150, now it's going to be up 200. I mean, hello, operator. This is big action. So just remember, you have to use a stop or you're going to be in trouble, and you don't want to have any trouble. That's the whole key of what we're watching here, all right? Try to do something nice for your neighbors, folks. And if you can, you can join me in London on the 24th of October. I'm going to do a full day, eight hours. Uh, of course, the time difference is quite a bit. We're going to start at noon and go till 8 o'clock at night. 
and it uh, should be a lot of fun. I'm going to be doing it by myself, but John Jameson will be there. I'm going to try to convince him to talk to us about some cryptos, and I think Tom Hugard is going to pop in, possibly. Uh, no guarantee on that. It's a guarantee that John's going to be there, but Tom is still trying to work around some arrangements to see if he can come in, but we'll have a lot of fun, and we'll do that. That doesn't affect my regular trading uh, the second and fourth Fridays of the month where I do the three hours. That'll still be a lot of fun, so I hope to see you soon. May God bless and live every day in an attitude of gratitude.